throws down last night, and Baylor is all but out. And Alabama looked good yesterday, and Clemson struggled against Syracuse, only beating them by 10. So, and, and we're actually ahead most of the game by only a touchdown outside of the first couple of minutes where they were up 14 to nothing, and Syracuse gave up a big play. So, Clemson, shaky yesterday versus Syracuse. Alabama rolling. <sighs> Ho-hum, Saban's done it again. Week 10 picks NFL here on the Soriano Podcast. We'll get into uh, all these games across the board. Obviously, tomorrow, the Snorefest, Texans, Bengals. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see my reaction when we go to pick that game. I think you'll like it. Uh, we'll start with Green Bay and Detroit, the Packers and the Lions. Uh, they've had back-to-back losses. The Packers have, uh, but they're big favorites today. They are uh, 11.5-point favorites today versus Detroit. Maybe it's because the Packers have not lost three consecutive starts by Aaron Rodgers since 2008. That's when he was just starting. Or maybe it's because the Lions really are not that good, and they never win in Green Bay. That's where they are today, uh, the last time being 1991. Better Detroit teams than this haven't been able to win in Green Bay. So why would a 1-7 and seven group do it? Give me the Packers today over the Lions. Uh, someone, someone tweeted me, hey, Chris, you want to throw out scores? We'll, we'll we'll try that. Give me Green Bay 34, Lions 23, because that Packers defense ain't that great. But, uh, again, I think Aaron Rodgers will put up some good numbers here. Tampa Bay and Dallas in Tampa Bay. If the Bucks correct their red zone issues, folks, which has been plaguing them, they should be in good shape against a team that still has no Tony Romo, and I think – cannot win until Tony Romo comes back. I think this is a team that, unless Romo is on that field, they cannot win. It go, they live and die with Tony Romo, and they are dying without Tony Romo. They need him back as soon as possible. He's not playing today. Tampa Bay has scored touchdowns on only 42.86%. Uh, no, what's the number? 42.86% of trips, folks, inside the opponent's 20-yard line this season. Uh, and the Bucks were 1-4 for four in the red zone against the Giants in Week 9. Winston has gone four consecutive games without throwing an interception. That's good. You want to see that from a rookie quarterback, so there's little reason to think he'll regress against the Dallas defense that has been vulnerable in recent weeks against teams that you know they, they really should have shut down. It's going to be close throughout, but the Bucks will do enough late to gain the victory against, again, a team that I think is inept and cannot win without Romo at quarterback. Give me the Buccaneers 21-16 over the Dallas Cowboys. We move to Carolina and Tennessee. Panthers and the Titans. Newton uh, leading the Panthers today. The 8-0 Panthers. The Titans defense has been shaky this year, although they've been far better against the pass than the run this season. So that's one thing that they got going for them. And with Cam Newton in the mix, uh, a, a, a key mixed tackle here, a key missed tackle there, that could be a big factor. So the Panthers have given up an average of 20 points a game. They're 8-0. Titans are going to have trouble today topping that against the defense with talent all over the field. The Carolina defense is really good. I'm a big fan of it. Panthers 24, Titans 17. It'll be a good ball game. But expect the Panthers to come out on top. Obviously, you want to give the edge to them there. Rams, Bears, this would be Chicago's biggest win of the season if they could pull it off. But the jury is still out here, folks, whether I can pick the Bears, whether anyone can pick the Bears, that they can beat a decent team this year in 2015 on the road. Despite St. Louis having limitations on, the, on, on offense, Todd Gurley is a beast. The Bears do a poor job stopping the run. We've seen that all year. Meanwhile, the Rams defense, that Jeff Fisher defense, it's physical, it's smash mouth, it's in your face. It's bound to hit Jay Cutler all over the field today. This could get ugly for Chicago for the offensive line. Give me Rams 27, uh, Bears 17. We move to New Orleans, and we move to the Redskins. And one reason, folks, why the New Orleans Saints are so freaking unpredictable here, folks. And again, they've been up, down, up, down, up, down. One reason why the Saints are so unpredictable. Get this, folks. They have the NFL's number one ranked offense and number 31 ranked defense in total yards. That is Jekyll and Hyde. 
They have completed more passes of 20-plus yards than any team in the NFL, but they have given up the most passes of 40-plus yards, 11, with six touchdowns. Those big plays are killing the Saints this year. That Rob Ryan defense, what do you expect? New Orleans defense is on pace to give up the highest opponent's passer rating in NFL history. But Rob Ryan still has a job. Uh, and the highest yards per play average since 1961. So the good news for the Saints is Washington's 29th ranked offense isn't very equipped to exploit the Saints defense. However, I will give the slight edge to the home team. I can't believe I'm doing it. Give me the Redskins over the New Orleans Saints today, baby. It must be the Expos hat. I'm feeling daring today picking these games. Eagles, Miami, the Dolphins defense has been atrocious lately. They've been a mess. They couldn't stop me and my grandma running. Uh, they've given up 42, 428 and a half yards per game over the past two weeks. The run defense has had the most struggles in their recent loss to Buffalo. They gave up 266 rushing yards, a pair of 100-yard rushers. The Eagles finally have the run game clicking with Murray. Everything's coming up Millhouse with that. He should have a big day today. He should be a difference maker. Give me the Eagles 24-17 over the Dolphins. We have more coming up. Pittsburgh and Cleveland. Ravens and Jaguars, Raiders, Vikings, Broncos, Chiefs, Cardinals, Seahawks, and the Sunday night game will give you my Monday night pick. Plus, the Giants are playing an undefeated team. What rat am I going to go there? More next. Sorry, I had a podcast.